scholars have called for protection of history and culture of Yoruba people to prevent going into extinction. They made the call at a special program organized to remember Professor Uli Beyer and Susan Wenger for their contributions to the development of African culture. Rafi Hamid reports. It's a two-in-one program. The event was organized to remember Professor Uli Beyer and Susan Wenger. Professor Uli Beyer was a German, while Susan Wenger was an Australian. They both got married in London and immigrated to Nigeria. The two iconic individuals affected cultural landscape of Yoruba land and Nigeria at large. History of Oshogo and the annual Oshogo festival do not complete without the duo. He was European. He didn't have any business appreciating what we had. But in his own case, he even repudiated his own culture to embrace our own. Susan Wenga was a remarkable woman. She was a cultural revivalist who worked assiduously to make sure that Yoruba cultural heritage is sustained. Professor Yerunke Oladima has this advice for Nollywood. They should focus more on African values rather than some sacrifices, somebody killing, somebody ritual. No! Let them focus on integrity, on generosity, on communal living, being your brother's keeper. All these things are integral to African culture. To the chairman, Center for Black Culture and International Understanding, the program will go a long way in bringing to consciousness of the people the importance of their culture. If we do not remember our past, we will not be able to uh, appreciate the present and uh, we won't be able to project into the future. Now, uh, the Oshoshobo group wouldn't have been what it is today, but for the contribution of this duo. So we need to constantly rem remind ourselves of their commitment and of course carry along the younger generation so that they can uh, link their past to their aspiring future. We are celebrating exceptional individuals, iconic individuals, people who we can refer to as the grand masters who shaped the cultural landscape not just of Oshun, Yoruba land. They want Nigerians to emulate the iconic individuals. If Nigerians focus on making this country better, definitely we will move from where we are now. She was generous. She was a philanthropist. She gave without any sentiment. You know, people she knew were against her. She still rendered help when it was needed. That's what we need. Uli, uh, Uli Baya lives. Susan Bear lives forever. They live in their works. They live in their writings. They live. They will continue to live in what they have left behind. Imperishable legacies. All the speakers are happy that teaching of history is now back in public schools. The event is spiced with cultural display. The Center for Black Culture and International Understanding has promised to continue to celebrate iconic and exceptional individuals who have contributed immensely to the sustenance of our cultural heritage. Rafiul Hamid, CBC News, Oshogo.